Well, hey, friendship friends, good to see you. I hope you're having a good day. I have been having a bit of fun this past week talking with you about the fruits of the Spirit. And you see, I still got my fruity hat on here. And um, I still have my fruit here, but I'm not going to show all of them to you. But remember the verse that we've been sharing and talking about from Galatians 5, 22 and 23? I think you've been looking at it and reading it, and I thank you for that. But you remember that the fruits of the Spirit mentioned in that verse are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. How many of you remembered all of them? Hey, thank you for doing that and remembering those fruits of the Spirit. In fact, I encourage you to memorize them. Keep thinking of all those words and those good things in your heads. So, we have talked about the fruits of the Spirit, and then we talked about different kinds of fruit that we like, like strawberries and blueberries and grapes and apples and bananas and all the such. So I have a question for you. Do you know where all of those fruits grow, what they grow on? For instance, strawberries and blueberries, do they grow on trees? No, you're right. They don't grow on trees. Um, strawberries grow, do you know? And like usually little bushes, little in, a, in like a garden area, and you have to lean over and pick them. But they grow in little bushes. And what about blueberries? Well, they also grow in bushes. They don't grow on trees. They grow in bushes that get bigger, about the size of an average um, um, person, a uh, taller person. Remember the story of me when I said about picking blueberries every day in the hot summers? Yeah, um, they were on bushes that you could reach with your hands, reach to the top and pick those blueberries. What about grapes? Do they grow on trees or do they grow in bushes? Ah, gotcha. They grow on vines. That's right. Some of you had that right. They're sort of like trees, but they don't get too tall. Grape vines. But what about pears, peaches, lemons, bananas, oranges, apples? What do they grow on? You know, you're thinking, hmm, they grow on trees. Exactly right. Yes, all of those fruits grow on trees that go taller, and so it takes some work to get those fruits off the tree. Pears, peaches, lemons, bananas, oranges, and apples. So, thinking of that made me think about trees. Now, I have a big tree in my front yard, and I like to keep it trimmed. And so this is a tool that I use to trim some of my trees and my larger bushes. It's a, a big strong tool and it can cut a branch pretty quickly and pretty easily. Um, so this is my trimmer tool. However, this tree that I have in my front yard is getting very big and it's actually getting too big for me to cut. I can cut some of the low branches and the branches that I can reach uh, even off of a ladder with this um, tool but it is getting to the point where it is beyond what I can do. So today, I have a guy. I have a guy who's coming to uh, my house to talk to me about what it would mean to cut this tree, to trim this tree, to spruce it up a little bit, clean it out a little bit, trim it back a little bit, um, in order for it to remain healthy. Because if it gets too big, it's it can become unhealthy. Um, it's not good for my house. It's not good for my yard. And it's just, if it would happen to fall, that would not be good. So we want to keep that tree healthy, but I can't do it by myself. So I'm talking to a guy who's going to help me um, keep my tree healthy. You know, Jesus talked about healthy trees and healthy vines. John chapter 15, verses 1 to 5, would be good verses for you guys to read. But here's what it says. I am the true vine. He's talking about Jesus. My Jesus said, I am the true vine. And my father is the gardener, and that's God. He cuts off every branch joined to me that does not bear fruit. He trims every branch that does bear fruit. Then it will bear even more fruit. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain joined to me, just as I also remain joined to you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain joined to the vine in the same way you can't bear fruit unless you remain joined to me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain joined to me and I to you, you will bear a lot of fruit. But remember, you can't do anything without me. So, recently, 
I also trim some other bushes at my house with a trimmer like this. This is a small trimmer. It's called a pruner. And you can go around and you can cut off um, dead branches. Oh, in fact, speaking of dead branches, um, I cut off some branches that look like this. Now, you see that? That is a dead branch. There are absolutely no green leaves on this branch. Um, it has lost its life, although it was still connected to the bush or to the tree. So basically, um, in the spring, you can go in and you just sort of cut that right off of the tree because it would eventually rot or it would break and fall off. And if you clean them out, then that allows room for more living branches to grow on a tree or a bush. So this is a dead branch that I recently cut off. However, last night, I actually used the same trimmer to cut a live branch off of a bush. See how long it is? And that's a fairly new branch. And I cut it off down here because it was growing somewhere where I didn't want it to grow. And it was getting out of control and growing longer and going out into a space where it shouldn't have been. So I had to cut it. Now, was I wrong to cut the living branch? And was I wrong to cut the dead branch? No. I needed to do this if I wanted my trees and my bushes to remain healthy. Sometimes the living branches need trimmed in order to, for the tree to remain healthy, and the dead branches need to be removed. And that's what Jesus was saying in John chapter 15, that he wants us to be healthy. We need his help to stay healthy. Sometimes, you know what, we need to cut off or get rid of some of the things that are causing us not to be healthy. We need to check ourselves and say, okay, is there something I'm doing that is a bad thing for me? Like maybe a bad attitude, always being grouchy and grumpy. Maybe a bad habit, like not being kind to people. And other things like that that we do that are not pleasing to God and that are not healthy for us. So can you think of anything that you could change that would help you be a better person? Mm. Yeah, think about maybe those bad attitudes or bad habits or some things that you know that might be wrong that you're doing that we need to correct. Because we want to get rid of those things and become healthy vines, healthy branches, healthy trees. God wants me and he wants you to be a healthy person and to have the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, goodness, self-control. All those things we've talked about that are things that we can grow in ourselves. But sometimes if we want to grow in kindness, we have to get rid of meanness. Yeah, cut off meanness, snip it away, throw it away, and then let goodness grow. So you see how that works? Yeah, to have the fruits of the Spirit, we need to take care of ourselves, to check ourselves, and make sure we're doing good. So I need to make sure I'm connected to the right vine or the right tree, and that's Jesus. And I need to stay connected to God. And he wants me to be healthy, and he is willing, very willing, to help me to be healthy, to check the things that may need pruned or cut off, like those dead branches or those things that I'm doing that are way out of control. Well, I hope you have a good day. I hope it is a day that is filled with the fruits of the Spirit and that you continue to remain attached to Jesus, who is the vine, the true vine, the true tree. Hey, I'll see you later. I wish you a day filled with peace.